Good morning, YouTube. Ladies and gents, today we have a couple of news to talk about. First of all, tomorrow on November 21st, there will be a big Tarkov patch, which will take the game down for approximately six hours, uh, but it may be extended if required. The game will not be accessible, nobody will be able to play, and um, there's only one small patch note. The update is aimed at improving the matchmaking system. So a couple of people in my chat already asked this, if this is going to be some sort of... Uh, um, skill-based matchmaking. No, it's not. BG is simply reworking the usual matchmaking, you know, like when you select servers and you get into the game. They hope on making it in a... they hope on changing it in a such a way so it works faster, so you don't have to wait for the raids for like three, four, five, six, seven minutes uh, whenever you matchmake. And um, they've been testing it on ETS for the past, I don't know, week-ish. So hopefully it works. Another thing that I'm really hoping for is that the raids are going to be full because I've played this morning for like an hour or two and uh, half of my raids were just sim simply like very quiet. I couldn't find players. I would play on reserve. I would go into D2 bunker, uh, check the drop room, check the dome and just extract with some loot because I couldn't find any players. Sometimes I would find like one player and kill some raiders, but that was about it. So hopefully it is aimed not only at reducing the amount of uh, time you have to wait before you find a game hopefully it's also aimed at uh, i don't know maybe combining servers or combining lobbies somehow and making sure that your rates are full so this is the first new for today november 21st 7 a.m gmt 2 a.m est game is going down for six hours another thing is nikita posted a really interesting picture on um, twitter yesterday and uh, different people said different things but uh, we have to outline that if we look closely at the laces of the shoes, you can clearly see that there is Tagila's helmet with reindeer um, corns. We call those corns? How do you call this chat? Um, horns? With reindeer horns? Um, and uh, on the right side, there is Killer helmet with the Santos hat. And right here, there's a Twitch, Twitch symbol, Twitch logo. So there are some speculations about what this might mean. We don't know. I think it's hinting that a new year event is coming to us and it will include Twitch, aka Twitch drops or some sort of uh, other Twitch campaign. And it's quite interesting that this is done with the killer, killer trousers. I personally think this it might be it might be related to the new skins being added to the game. And maybe if you watch the game during the drops season uh, during the new year with a new wipe, if the wipe happens, you will be able to get killer's tracksuit pants because right now they are inaccessible. There is no way of getting this in the game. Another thing that made me think that another thing that made me think another another thought that I had in my head is that this might be related to one of the new things coming up before the end of this year, and this is um, Arena Battle Pass. Arena is supposed to receive a battle pass, and BG already made sure that you can access skins in arena and in tarkov and it's synced so basically if you buy something in tarkov you can wear it in arena and vice versa so long story short if there is a battle pass for arena that does include new unlockable skins for arena you will be able to unlock those skins in arena and wear them in tarkov so possibly this is uh, what's going to happen closer to the new year we're going to get a battle pass with a bunch of different skins and this might be one of the unlockable skins um so yeah if you have any other thoughts about this, feel free to share this down in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, because thumbs up really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you're not subbed to the channel, make sure you sub to not miss any of the future videos, right? And the last thing I want to talk about today is the fact that um, Very Bad Scav, I mean, I don't know if he did, but somebody did find a way to kill the BTR driver, which is really interesting, because before we thought that BTR driver is literally impossible to kill, we didn't even know if he exists as a physical uh, body in the game. But there was a way to kill him. Uh, apparently it got fixed and there is no way to do it right now. But there was a way to kill the BTR driver or the BTR shooter. We're not sure if it's the driver or the guy that shoots. Because it could be two different people. And players were able to kill him and loot him. And long story short, he had some loot. He had a tactical rig. He had a P PKTM. Which is really weird. I haven't seen this gun in the game yet. Um, it looks like a usual PK, PKM or uh, PKP that you can get from Kaban. However, it has a different name. So I'm not entirely sure if it's a different kind of gun. Because the name is different. Uh, all the stats seem to be more or less the same. And like it doesn't look any different. 
So yeah, that's a little bit weird, but it's kind of cool. So potentially somehow in the future we'll be able to talk to this guy, we'll be able to kill him. Uh, once again, there is a new part of Woods, which BTR driver did talk about. And I think this might be somehow related to that part in the future. We'll be able to get the quests from this guy. We'll be able to talk to him and maybe if we want to, we can kill him and lose his reputation and he won't give us any quests anymore. I don't know. Just sharing my thoughts. Um, so yeah. I think this is uh, more or less it. I'm not gonna make this video any longer. So thank you so much for watching. Give this YouTube video a thumbs up. Check me out on Twitch because I'm live on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. And I will see you in the next video, ladies and gents. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.